What's happening guys, this is Sir William and today we're in UR National Forest and for the first time ever I'm actually hammock camping. So the folks over at East Hills Outdoors sent me the Jungle Scout hammock setup to try out. And I must say, I've never been hammock camping before. Last night was the very first time I've ever slept in a hammock. And it was pretty cool. So the Jungle Scout is a double person hammock. It comes complete with this bug net, which is an absolute must down here in the south. Although it is detachable, as you can see, it zips off and on all the way around. Now, one of the things that I noticed right off the rip with this particular hammock compared to say, an Enos, right? One of the Enos is incredibly expensive. You only buy each individual part separately. Whereas this one, I was able to get the whole entire setup here for one low price. I was able to get the straps. I was able to get the bug net comes attached. Also, it comes with a little canopy that I can go over. So pretty cool deal to be able to get it all in one rather than having to buy it a la carte or separately like the Eno setup. This thing has pockets galore. It's got a pocket on the outside here for all your stuff. It's got a pocket down on that side for your stuff. It's got a pocket on this side for your stuff. So you're gonna be able to stick your phone or anything like that that you want to. Also, like I said, it does come with that canopy and the canopy is gonna allow you to run those guy wires and hook the bug net up through those guy wires. But it also has clips on the inside so that way you can hook up things like lights or something like that. As you can see, the straps are pretty cool here. You got various different slots that you can choose. Depending on how far apart your trees are that you're setting this thing up to, you can actually set this up to different lengths if you want to. So I've got mine set down here at the laughs just because of the way that we got it set up. But yeah, man, not really much to say about this thing. If you want to get one of these for yourself, check it out. The link's down in the description by clicking that link. You'll actually show some support to the channel, so I'd appreciate it a lot. Jorge is showing off night or showing off not making capabilities that he has learned. Curtsy of United States military. That's right. All the knots. So these are military grade knots. <laughs> <laughs> I was just telling him that I probably should learn how to do some knots. Like if there's some things that you could just add to a skill set. Not should be one of them. Not should definitely be one of them. All right, so here's the deal. We're going to take this thing down, and to be honest with you, I might be kind of spoiled on hammock camping for the summertime. Here's why I say that. In the hammock, you get air to you a whole lot easier. Now, granted, it would have been a lot easier for me to get air had I had that guide wire up to keep the bug net up. And when I set it up later on today, then I'll probably do that. The air gets underneath you. It gets around you. The bugs stay away from you from the netting. And with a tent, ultimately you have walls all around you still. Even though you do have the netting in it, it's still, you got small areas of netting versus big areas of wall in most of the tents out there. So it's a little harder to get the air in. That being said, during the summertime, it can be really bad, especially in the southeast. Now, inside the truck, I can roll down the side windows and I can put my nets up, which is going to keep all the bugs out of the inside of the truck. It's still going to be nice and cool in there for the most part but it can still get nice and muggy too. So the hammock really is pretty ideal. I would definitely add it. I mean, it's literally, it's, it's only gonna take up this much space. Hey, listen, you're already doing the overlanding deal. You're already doing the camping deal. Chances are you probably already have a bunch of useless bullshit anyway. Go ahead and add this to the collection. You'll actually use it. So here's the deal. You just stuff it back down into this big pocket on the side, however, which way you got to do it. That's it. East Hill Outdoors. Link's down in the description, check it out. Now all I have to do is pack up the truck and I'm ready to roll. And packing up the truck just consists of getting my kitchen box back into the truck, getting the table back in the truck, the chairs, grab Jorge, we're hitting the trails of Uari, stay tuned. Here's the biggest thing, whenever you're out traveling and you have like a bunch of equipment like this, pro tip, make sure that wherever you set things, it's not gonna rattle whenever you hit dirt roads. Because if you're anything like me, It'll make you go insane. So just keep that in mind. All right, there's a good spot. I've got a tick right here. And it just hopped on me like just as soon as I put shorts on. Check this out. I've got this thing of duct tape right here that my homeboy Eric gave me. And the idea is that I'm going to, because I don't have tweezers, and the tools that I do have are dirty. So the idea is that I'm going to 
put this right over that and hopefully nope nope that got him got his ass so new development we got a back right tire it's five pounds low but we're about to let about five pounds out of them anyway so we just sped up exactly we are ahead of the competition in whatever race we thought there might be and uh, we're like what how many minutes from the campsite yeah one <laughs> one yeah. two maybe yeah we're coming down this little trail right here and we found a campsite pretty easy too like i mean how many of them were there yeah there was four or five open before we got to the one that we decided to stay at yeah so being so close to the water wasn't too terribly bad. Pretty hot last night, but that's about it. Now, these guys have the camp spot right here for sure. Let's check out that campsite. Huh? Come on, man. Jorge gets the job of navigator today. You got Apple, another forerunner. Got some Jeeps over here. Then you got, this thing is massive. Look at this thing. You got the front bumper on here. That is sweet. What size tires? Uh, 34 and a half, but like 24. Yep. 95, 78, Got it. That's exactly what I ran on my Tundra when I had it. It's everything you need except for gas mileage. Yeah, that's what it is. Uh, I did like 14 highway and like on the trails I'll get like 10, 11. Yeah. Still a sweet rig though. Easy. No, all the way driver, all the way driver. Easy. 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 Passenger. Easy. Easy. Passenger. Easy. Easy. All right. All right, come on down. Good deal. Driver, driver, driver. Driver, keep going. Easy, easy, easy. You're gonna roll down this rock, but there's one straight in the center, so easy. All right, now you're gonna go up on the left or left rear. All right, easy. All right, so you can actually straighten it up just a bit. Yeah. All right, and then you're good to go. All right, so keep straight. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna come over this rock right here. Rear. And once you, yep, once you come over it, come on. All right, now you're gonna turn to the driver. So what we're doing is we're going in between this rock over here. So keep to the driver. Hard driver. Yep, hard driver. Yep, all right, easy. Um, hard driver. Come a little bit more. All right, now straight. Now hard passenger, you got it. All right, now straight. Easy, easy. All right, passenger. All right, easy. All right, straight. All right, come on down. There you go. You're good to go, just watch this rock right here to the left. That is sweet, huh? That's one of the new FX4 Rangers. Pretty cool. I don't know if they have lockers or anything in them, but pretty sweet nonetheless. Then we're gonna watch these Jeep guys just crawl up it like it's not even there. We've caused a full-on traffic jam so we could get a couple Toyotas down it. <laughs>
Sweet. They made that noise stop. <laughs> what size tires are those? Damn. 37s. 37s? How wide? Those are like 14, 15. Jesus. I'd hate to damn pay for the gas. Look, that thing's cool as hell, huh? Check this thing out. Black Del LR, man. <laughs> I appreciate it, man. Yeah. That's where we point it most of the time. That's it. <laughs> How we going? He said it goes to where we point it most of the time. So the deal is with new trucks when you bring them out on the trail is we must leave the rocker board somewhere along the trail by the oh, end of the I day. I don't know if the boss is like that. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Hey, just think it's keeping the paint from getting scratched. And then that big old tundra, he's just taking out the top. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you're just doing trail maintenance, that's all. Just taking the tops off of them for us. How do you like the slider so far? For the price, you know, I was gonna go with the Smitty Built, and they were like expensive. But these yeah. are like 260 off Amazon. Yeah, links in the description. I'll put a link down in there for you. you. Mess them up, who cares? Right. You know? Yeah. They, they've been working though. They've been getting a workout. So as long as you don't just nail them, ultimately you're gonna be okay with, you know, just making sure you don't scratch up your rocker panel, which is what you're trying to do. Mm -hmm. I probably wouldn't put a whole lot of weight on them, you know. But hey, for just for the price, you can't beat them. Pretty sweet. Yeah. 
So John brought out this brand new uh, 2000, what, 19, right? Yeah, 2019 right. Ranger. Right. And this is the FX4 model. So this would be your equivalent to like a TRD off-road or a Z71 or something of that nature. Now, one of the cool things about this particular one, though, is the fact that it's got like a 2.3 liter four-cylinder EcoBoost motor. So it's a turbocharged motor. Uh, this thing's been hanging with us in the trails all day long. The only thing with this particular one is just the breakover angles right there in the center with those uh, the little step boards, but you take those off, you're good to go. One thing I like about this other than the Colorado, or aside from the Colorado, is the air dam on this is a whole lot nicer, and you can see that skid plate right there. It's also got a trail mode that he talked about that is kind of like a crawl control would be, so you can adjust it in one mile an hour increments and go through just like that. Pretty sweet nice truck good lines to it yeah and the recovery points right up front yeah so you're not ripping off the front bumper if you go to uh, recover it so 860 maximum payload rating and then 7 7500 maximum trailer tow rating when when it's properly configured as a four cylinder yes sir That's ridiculous. and what's your miles per gallon right now um i'd have to check but uh well over 17 i hope yeah, i think so yes sir pretty close to it yeah, liter I pour. 270 horsepower and 310 foot pounds of torque. 270 horsepower, 310 foot pounds of torque. Yes, sir. I could rock it. And it probably rides really good, I would imagine. Auto start stop, work fast connect, Wi Fi hotspot. You can hook up 10 devices to it. So if you want to roll your laptop or your iPad or your phones, you'll be ready to go. It's pretty cool, man. Forty-four. So this one fully optioned out is forty-four. The way that it's optioned out like this. Sure, absolutely. Pretty sweet. So that's best in class. So he said that it's a Can-Am turbocharged nine hundred. It's completely stock. Nothing done to it. He's just beasting these trails, man. Just killing it. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah, you said they're putting turbos in those things. Yeah, they're putting turbocharged thousand cc motors on those things. That is stupid. Completely ridiculous. I cannot possibly imagine. Like on a motorcycle, I've had a Jixer 1000 before, and on a motorcycle, I'm a firm believer. Unless you're getting paid money to drive it, you don't need anything over a 600. Now, granted, the side by side is just a little bit more weight. But not a lot. Not a lot. That's crazy. All right, so what's the name of this trail here? 89? Wolf Den. Wolf Den? Yep. Not too bad. Hey, when you come across obstacles like this, make sure that you realize that every inch that you give on this side, you're giving on the other side too. So always make sure you're looking out over there. Bertha here almost took out the old camera, huh? Jeez.
Steady, 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 steady. You're gonna have to go back down. You're gonna have to use momentum. Yeah, yeah either momentum or use your active tracks, one of the two. Will the locker take me up? Now just use momentum. Momentum? Okay. Yeah, not too much. Don't run into Apple. So whenever I start saying steady, just ease onto the gas. Okay. All right, come on. All right, steady, 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 steady. All right, good job. Keep coming. Start straightening her out. Passenger all the way hard. Yeah. 
You got a new spot on the um, exhaust pipe. You're good. Yeah, trail modified. You're straight. Yep, just keep like that. All right, driver. Keep coming, driver. Hard driver. Hard driver. You're going to get up on that rock and it's going to put you over some. Keep coming. Hard driver. Yep, that's fine. Make sure you watch your tree right there. All right, you're good on this side. Straighten it out just a little. All right, right there. Hold it. Keep coming. Keep coming. Momentum down. All right, now straight. Straight. Passenger. Passenger. Hard passenger. So check out this spot, huh? Jorge found the spot. This spot right here. Doesn't yeah. Get much better than this. Yeah. No, this is fantabulous. We're legit being taken over by frogs right now. It's so crazy. <laughs> they legit sound like like they sound like cats. Yeah, they do. So this is our new friend, Herbert the Turtle. Jorge found him up on top of the hill. It probably took him three years to get there. And we moved him to where he can see that. I'm pretty sure Jorge just said probably one of the funniest things that I've ever heard in my life. We were talking about the relocation of the turtle. If you can't see the turtle, he's back there somewhere. And uh, he's turned. And so Jorge says... You think he wants to get in the water and just doesn't know it yet. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, come on, little buddy. We know you need to get in the water. Yeah, exactly. Man. Turtles love the water. They love yeah. the water. Yeah, I think what he's actually doing is looking back up that hill, which is where he came from, and he's probably going, damn it, I got to go all the way back up there now. Really, this is a lazy-ass turtle. This turtle hadn't really moved. He's been hanging out here for a while. Pretty good life, though, nonetheless. I mean... Let's be honest. It just gets real, you just hide up into your shell, wait for it to pass over, and then come back out. Hmm. You just gotta stay off your back. It's a horrible imperfection there that they can't flip themselves back over. All right, Herbert. Don't stop now. You're almost there, buddy. George is right. He wanted the water. I think ultimately George saved his life too because, I mean, if he would have tumbled down this hill, look at this hill. If he'd have tumbled down that hill, it would have been a real issue for Herbert. Herbert's going to live a good life. This is his new home right here. Sir William's Turtle Relocation Service. I'll let you, boy. I can't think of a better way to wake up in the morning than to look out over the lake like this. We're inside of URI National Forest. Uh, we went and ran the trails yesterday. Today we're gonna go to the shooting range and the El Dorado outpost for some breakfast and then 
head on back. It's about a three hour journey for me to get home, about a two hour journey for George to get home. So that's all we're gonna do for today. Last night we camped out, it was really nice. Um, it was actually a little bit cooler than what I expected. My feet actually got cold a little bit. No bugs in the bug net, which is real nice. No rain, so I didn't have to do the rain fly. Ultimately, this trip has been pretty cool, man. I really enjoy having the hammock. I really like hammock camping. I really like the ease of setting it up. Now, I still got to figure out the rain fly part, but I'll get it all figured out. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video. Maybe you learned something. If you did, make sure that you like, share, subscribe, do all that fun stuff. And until next time, peace.